Oh. Right, so we are here with Mark and Maybe. Derek. Mark's in the blue, Derek's in the green. We're gonna be getting some hucks going today. Right now they're working on the X step. So if you guys are at home, you wanna try this in your backyard, you can pause the video, but this is what we're working on so far. We've got the disc in a forehand pull situation. All together, these guys are gonna do it with me. We're gonna start neutral stance, casual left step forward, right step, your heel goes out to the, or your toes point out to the side. This helps your hips turn, upper body starts to coil. Left step, you're throwing your left hand out, upper body comes around, elbow, is going to come through first, wrist is still fully loaded, chest finishes high and snap your throw. And you want to have it leak out to the right like that to have an I.O. Uh, flight path. Starting here, yep. small left step, right step out to the side, left hand is starting to come back a little bit, right elbow starting to get high, left uh, wrist is caught, left foot plants, as your upper body starts to swing, leading with your left hand, and then the snap, you want to release with the outside edge down. Slowly. Yeah, I like that. Your follow through is actually beautiful for someone who's growing up playing sports and throwing like a football yep. or a baseball, like great hand snap and the, and the hand is turning over in frisbee, you actually want it to externally rotate and try to finish with your thumb pointing okay. to the ground. So when you're, when you're throwing your forehand, everything is beautiful up until that release where your hand starts to like turn over, which is like your natural programming. Yes. Instead, on release, force that wow. external rotation on your follow through and get that thumb. Try to figure out where you're finishing and try to get the thumb pointing to the ground. <laughs> So instead of this, yep. where it comes over like that, you want to exaggerate with this. See how my yep. hand is finishing? I had to work on a couple follow-throughs. I'm going to watch it, where your thumb finishes like that. Finishes, just finishes rotate outside. everything yeah. outwards. Look at the distance on that thing. <laughs> oh shit! That was nice. That was a nice one. Yeah. So what I just told Derek there is on his follow through, on his initial follow throughs, his throws, I was seeing him come over like that, which in almost every other sport is awesome. You throw a football, snap, you turn over, you hit a volleyball, snap, thumb down, throw a baseball. I don't know how to throw a baseball, but I imagine snap, wrist down, frisbee, forehand, you throw, you want thumb down, external rotation. Okay. I've got something for you, Mark. So I watched your your hand, your right hand the whole way through that. Yes. Your hand did something like, regardless of what your body was doing, your yep. hand did something like this, a bunch of stuff, to this. Oh, really? To this. You actually popped the disc into that's, a different set. That's interesting. So let's skip all of that. Let's that's... lock it all up. Let's look at your grip. Yep. Okay. These two fingers want to be tight. Yep. Now take your other hand and grab over the top and pull it back and see how far back you can gain you can get that you gain more and just start from that position so start from there wait 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 you're not there right now you let your Did wrist already? your oh. your wrist as soon as you took your first step your wrist neutralized isn't that funny yeah don't let it neutralize stay right there force it to stay there and then do your throw from there way better spin oh i see It's funny, if you, you when I focus 100% on that and the other stuff goes a bit wonky, there's many pieces of the puzzle. Start with that nice assembly that's going to start there, and that's going to help with the right release. And then once you're getting reps of release is good, release is good, release is good, play with that outside angle uh, on the, or sorry, that outside on the edge on being the disc down. being down. <laughs> It's all good. When you're starting, when you're trying new new techniques, things are gonna get a little weird on you. Your throws are gonna break down before they build back up. Oh baby. It doesn't feel natural or automatic, it feels forced. Well it's new, it's new uh, recruitment pattern. Yep. Yeah, so your brain is at its least efficient right now, right? <laughs> and you're myelinating all these new paths. 
maybe starting uh, starting with less wind up just to simplify it. So because the disc is coming out and kind of like fluttering through the air and not getting that sort of clean pure spin, yes. let's get that, that load up. Let's isolate the throwing part by just standing sideways and just working on getting some blade releases okay. that come out and all you're focusing on is having the thing spin clean. Just trying to get that clean spin on release and just don't throw far. You're just maybe just to the <laughs> other end. Actually, that was, look, it came out, came out super clean though. Yeah. So we're going back to that first tip of follow through, follow through, yeah. follow through so it releases, thumb, external down. rotate like crazy yeah. to the ground. Yeah, do a pile of those. Yeah. Just put it past the white one and just so we're focus. From here now. Yep, you're working from there. See so if you can get a little more wind up on the wrist. Actually, that's not bad. <laughs> Your hand will, at the last second, sabotage the whole thing. Okay. So just like, when that happens, not a big deal, bring back the distance and throw blades. Okay. Like, just not even throwing a frisbee anymore. You're just throwing it up and down. Yeah, and see how it is still, still flattened out nicely. Yeah, yeah. That one, if you can throw that thing over and over and over again, yeah. that thing will accept additional power okay. and will go farther. Those right. other throws that you had, where your wrist was turning the disc over, yes. you'll never accept additional power right. and won't go farther. Yeah, these look good. Well, you can afford to throw sort of a tiny bit up into the left and, and capitalize on the sh on the the left to right glide at the end of the flight. Yeah. That was nice. Hello. Yeah, that is yep. very nice inside out stuff going on. Oh, and that one flattened out and, gl and glid a bit. Glid? Glided? That's funny because that's just like right here, right? But that's, that's not any of this like... Well, yeah, you're not winding way up. Yeah, just, you know, a little off. That one was actually really natural and nice. Throw like 10% more mustard on it. Okay. And throw it a tiny bit up into the left and just let's see if it glides a little more and gets a little more distance. Let's just see. Okay. Like that 10% of going full bore, just yeah. increasing flow a Okay, yeah, right. just, uh, just dialing it up a little at a time. So you're, you're still throwing pretty much all out. And with Derek, what started to really help his technique was got rid of the footwork, got rid of the full wind up, brought it to maybe like a 40% wind up, and just worked on having the disc come out as a blade. So what I want you to be doing is throwing it like, instead of um, instead of succumbing to the natural tendency of having your wrist your, your, your wrist release blackish, you're overcoming that tendency, and you're trying to get your wrist to release here, and the disc to come out in that really silly vertical position, because you can add you can add power to that silly vertical position. But if you're releasing flat, you can't add power to it. Mark just figured it out. Palm to the sky. Under pressure too, on camera, in front of millions. Look at that go. Millions, more like hundreds, but... Oh shit, Mark! Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Oh! That's really catchable. Oh, he's just bumping them now, and easy too. Oh, he's figured it out. Holy. Oh, that looks good. Each, all of these, even the misses are IO, which is perfect. Oh yeah. Let's do this on camera. Your high release is just for some reason magical. Oh. They look, that looks fantastic. That looks really good. Yeah. Feels so nice. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna transition to backhands. I tried just like a couple like that, okay. and these are biting right against the Them in. Yep, yeah, it right in, and that first knuckle. Next thing is the angle of the disc is comfortable when it's there. Mm -hmm. It's uncomfortable, but better for flight uh, reasons when it's in line with your forearm. Okay, so, so I'm trying here, to, you yeah. want here. Yeah, I want you to rotate the disc in your hand until it's in line with your arm. Yeah, that, you're, like, you're like Iron Man with that kind of it, a, a setup. It doesn't feel natural at all. It feels horrible. So preload like crazy. 
Let's just try one like that, where it's pre-cocked. Look at the snap on that shit. Oh, your first throw is just money right out of the box. Like nothing, like, oh, you're done. Oh, damn, that's nice too. What's wrong with that? It's only half the field. Oh. <laughs> So just getting comfortable with that preloaded wrist. Yeah, man. Oh, it doesn't. The grip doesn't feel natural. Like doing this feels forced. Feels horrible, but the results are pretty tasty. So Derek, I wonder if a slower windup for you might be good. So kind of more casual windup. Yeah, I don't mind that. Because it's like your windup is sort of rushed. You see how slow Mark's windup is, and then he's got all go. this snap on his. Dude, yeah, that's, that's better. Fantastic. So slow oh, windup, just... step and snap. Oh my god, for you, well, Derek and that... Mark. Let's see your throw again. Get that, get that whole wrist thing preloaded, precocked, and bang! Woo! Oh baby! That was nice. Oh, that's the best one yet. Look at it. It's still going. Presenting the disc. Oh my God. All right, so Mark's takeaway. Yeah, uh, I had a great evening with Ryan. It's been fantastic. So my takeaway, so on the flick side was uh, preloaded. So I'm starting from here, which I wasn't. I was more loose and I think I was bringing it back, but I'm starting from here. And the second one is upon release, it's palm up. And I'm gonna focus on those two pieces on the flick side. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah.